of martyrs and sacrifices. We watch Karma and Rande Basanti, Shai Bhagat Singh, both the versions. And we listen to the radio play, Ma Tujhe Salam, Mere Vatan Ke Lo, Mere Desh Ki Dharti, Tamara Tamara, Unalum Nam Nale. Because this is what it means to be Indian on Independence Day. I wonder what the people whose work that we celebrate thought about it. What is it like to be Indian before August 15, 1947? They were politicians, activists, writers, soldiers, freedom fighters, driven by their own personal politics and on common item. Being their own people, in their own life, in their own land, owning their lives, their rights. My independence is not that. I was born into a country that was already a democracy. I was never restricted entry because of my nationality or my skin color. I don't need permission to meet in public spaces like this, to say what I think, to buy, sell, work, live. These challenges and these victories are my history. And history, as glorious as it can be, is just legacy. It's stories from my past. Independence, on the other hand, is this living, breathing thing. It's personal. And it's a prickly, uncomfortable creature. It's a monster. It's a monster living in the head. It refuses to be confined to history textbooks. It is not hanging on the wall in these faded photographs of people that none of us have ever met. It has moved from Shalit Bhagat Singh. It is struggling to solve today's problems with both Gandhigiri and Rande Basanti. It's working very hard to bring light to one small remote village in the country. It's chanting a battle cry against internal and international prejudice. Chakti India. Independence is what refuses to let us settle into complacency. We celebrate freedom and that means to redefine what free means constantly. Otherwise, we are just raising a glass of non-alcoholic drink because it's a dry day to our ancestors' achievements. And as life changes with every single person who lives it, each personal boundary we encounter, every no, every restriction that we face and choose to push back against is an assertion of our freedom, our own fight for independence. I don't want to accept the reality of today any more than the people before me did. I want to reinvent what it means to be free, freedom to love who I will, regardless of caste, age, sex, geography. Freedom to study what I want, to follow my passion, freedom to speak, to dress, to act, to sleep, to eat, just as I choose. Freedom is a dream without a horizon, and I'm chasing my own boundaries. This Independence Day, I'm celebrating that restless monster that tells me, you dare to find your own freedom. Thank you. Uh, I just request Ramit to be ready with the video.